Welcome to another edition of Terrier Check-In. We're here with freshman Case McCarthy. Thanks for joining us, Case. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you for having me. You got the Lakers hat on there. Uh, you were yeah. a fan of them? No, nah, it's just a little tribute to Kobe with the roses on it. Nice. He, uh, he was a, a role model for sure, just with his mentality, the way he played the game. So, yeah. I, I've realized that uh, this when this all happened, unfortunately, the tragedy there, how much of a uh, for for your generation, how how big of a role model, um, how important he was. I could I could tell that that week. You guys are the, the tributes that online. You guys had on Instagram. Um, have you been watching the Jordan documentary at all on Sunday nights? I have, I have. That's we we kind of turned that into a family thing here. I think um, a lot of people have. Yeah. Yeah. For that sure. Was certainly the dynasty through my high school and college years. Yeah. Well, you've finished year one uh, with here at BU, but uh, wasn't didn't end exactly how you, you thought it might, and sort of abruptly. But uh, what did you learn from this year, and uh, uh, what are you uh, looking forward to uh, for the rest of your time here at BU? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, one of the biggest things I learned is is how competitive each and every game is, and that, that makes it so much more fun. Makes the atmosphere. Uh, a great time to play in front of in front of the fans, especially there at Aganis. Um, I learned from our group that how tight we were, uh, given how young we were, and the amount of adversity we spent um, at the beginning of the year, kind of ups and downs, and kind of. I have to give the upperclassmen a lot of credit for for dealing with such a big freshman class, but then able to turn it around and turn us into some real contenders going down the stretch there uh, with the bean pot, and then unfortunately before the hockey east, um, it kind of came up abruptly, but. Uh, we were we were really confident going to hockey's playoffs for uh, a run that we could go on. Yeah. Decor was strong, and uh, well, you guys learned as you as you went along. You had you know half of you guys were, were freshmen. Uh, what did you? Uh, what were the first couple months like in terms of adjusting and and getting used to the college game? And and I, what do you? Some of the things you think you were able to improve on as the year uh, went along. Yeah, I think my biggest thing this year was, was my consistency. Um, I think I got better as year went on playing a full 60 minutes. I think that's always something that, that me personally, I can always improve upon. Um, it's just taking every every shift as its own game uh, and trying to win my shift. Um, I think, too, just the, the speed and physicality. It's a little bit different than junior playing against some older guys. Uh, but, again, I think uh, the guys on the back end, Dave, Crotty, and uh, Casper, really kind of showed us the way. Uh, especially for us, us three, uh, being so young and, and such a young group, um, they really were able to take us under their wing and um, really show us what college hockey and view hockey is about. And obviously the D core is coming back strong. Uh, Cam uh, signed his pro deal, so that leaves five of the six coming back, uh, in, including uh, – parents uh that's got to be exciting and, and and encouraging for for the upcoming year definitely i mean it's super exciting knowing that, that we get five guys back um obviously losing karate is is tough but you know he's uh he was ready for the next level i think he showed that uh, all year long uh, that he was ready to, to move on but i think he he left his mark on on our decor and really like i said showed the young guys how to what view hockey is all about and then the guys come back. I think we have a strong incoming class as well as the, the class that's here. And then the, us five that are, are returners, I think um, just the chemistry between all of us is going to be uh, something special going into next year. Yeah. Were there any uh, upperclassmen in particular that maybe took you under their wing this year and, and uh, got you adjusted to the program and, and showed you what it was like to be a Terrier? Yeah, I mean, I think – I think all the upperclassmen, I think everyone from sophomores to seniors to grad students really kind of were, uh, were great all year long with, with us incomers. But I think a few guys that, that I have to give a special mention to is Curry. He was around all summer. Um, obviously, he was our captain. He was, he was our leader on and off the ice. Um, he did a really good job, especially with me, kind of helping me adjust and getting me comfortable. Um, like I said, the three guys on, on the back end, Karate, Casper, and Dave, um, they all did a great job kind of helping us feel comfortable and, and fitting in and understanding that we're all in this together. 
Um, and I got to throw the two grad students too, Brinker and Tox. They did a really good job. I know they were, they were incomers too, but um, I think they did, did an awesome job fitting in and kind of showing us the ropes since they've been around and, and understand the game and, and understand the lifestyle that, that we're living. And then I got to throw one last name in there. It's kind of a long list. I think uh, all the guys did a great job, but Coxie, um, and the captain next year, he's, uh, he's one of those guys that's just a great leader, um, great player on the ice uh, and off the ice. He, he makes sure that everyone's doing, doing great and feeling well and, and comfortable with the team. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Your, your class grew as the year went on. Uh, you guys came in uh, where it was 11 of you. Uh, and then we added two more at the break and then you had, you mentioned the grad transfer. So at one point uh, starting in January, half the team were guys that weren't on the team the year before. So certainly that was a transition. Definitely. That was, uh, they're all big pickups. I mean, they all contributed well. Scooger with the, a few big goals there at the bean pot and Abe's did his, <laughs> he did, he was a backbone for us for a little bit there in net. Um, but no, it was, it was a great year. I mean, with everyone being so new and some of the adversity we faced and to turn ourselves into a contender down the stretch was, is, is something to be really proud of. Yeah. What, uh, what part of your game are you going to focus on right now? Uh, especially being away from the, your teammates and, uh, Obviously, any time is valuable, but uh, how are you taking advantage of, uh, of training and on your own, even though you might not have a rink? Uh, what are some of the things you're focused on? Right now, I'm just focused on strength conditioning, uh, mobility stuff. Uh, check our strength coach is doing a great job getting us programs to make sure we're staying in shape. But I think just focusing really on my, my strength and speed, um, my conditioning. I got a bike. I got a bike path right next to my house. So going going for some rides and, and just kind of enjoying the time I have at home, but maintain that focus that um, this is the off season. It's the time to get better. And no matter what, making makeshift uh, gyms in my basement with concrete and rebar, whatever it may be, my, my dad's been a big part of that. Um, but really just trying to, trying to maintain focus and, and getting better every day like I would be at school. Uh, is there uh... – some ice you're able to maybe get on once things start opening up uh, when some of the things get lifted across the state in, in New York? Yeah. Um, we're, uh, I'm setting up with a, with my skill coach um, at home right now, just figuring out when, when everything opens up, what ranks are going to be available. Um, as of right now, we're assuming May 15th is the, the day everything's opening. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping for that day. I'm starting to itch to get back on the ice. I think this is probably the longest time I haven't been on the ice in, in a couple of years. Um, but yeah, there's definitely ice available. I mean, in Buffalo, there's no shortage of, of ice. There's, I can drive 10 minutes. I can drive 30 minutes. There might be 15, 20 ranks around. Um, just, just waiting, waiting for, uh, for us to do some work. Yep. We've had a few, uh, from Buffalo over the years. And, um, certainly have a, a presence in the Sabres as well the past few uh, with Eichel and Erod and, and, and Hickey and even O'Regan was there for a while and Steve Greeley, assistant GM with the Sabres. Yeah. You grew up a Sabres fan or? I did, yeah. Um, I grew up, my, my dad's from Buffalo, so he kind of brought the, the Buffalo sports tradition uh, yeah. with him. Um, as years gone on though, that's kind of uh, turned into more of a student of the game. Yeah. And then obviously uh, become more of a Devils fan lately. For good um, reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next year's class, you mentioned it. Uh, you came from the national team development program and uh, we've got three more uh, joining in. Uh, it's long tradition at BU uh, of having guys uh, from there. Uh, but one of the things that you had the advantage of in, in uh, most of the recent classes was the summer sessions and, and getting on campus and uh, getting to know their teammates and, and really getting adjusted before the, the, the true school year started. Unfortunately, that won't be the case this year with the, the summer classes online. Um, what now that you've been here a year and, and, you know, you'll be part of the group that welcomes these freshmen, what are some of the things you'll, 
uh, uh, will be a priority for you guys once you, you know, get to see them for the first time uh, whenever they do get to campus. Yeah, I think I think just right off the bat, we have to start becoming, I mean, teammates, friends on and off the ice, spending time together. I think that was the biggest part for us. Um, at least my class last summer was getting adjusted to school. I think as, as a returner, and, uh, including the upperclassmen and stuff, just helping them get comfortable with the school, um, making sure that they understand like the time where everything is, uh, all the different ins and outs of, of BU hockey. And I think they'll, well, I know they'll adjust quickly and, and adjust uh, comfortably. I think we have the right leadership core in place to, to help them and the right guys throughout the team to kind of help them feel comfortable. Um, but yeah, I think it's just taking them, taking them under our wing and um, just like what the older guys did with, with me in, in my class last summer, um, just helping them feel comfortable right away. Yeah. As you look back in the first year, what was your uh, favorite moment? I got to say BC at the bean pot. That was something special being down three, one. And I think, again, I think that just shows the pride in our team and, and yeah. that no quit attitude. And I think that starts from the top, but that was probably the most nerve wracking, exciting, emotion filled game I've ever been a part of. And, and to do it and against BC was, was something special. Um, but I mean, that was, that was just crazy game. I can't even begin to, describe how I'm feeling now. I'm still getting the butterflies uh, yeah. about that game. And then same thing the, the next week, and it was just the ties that, that we've never had in the bean pot. And I think that's for a lot of us have been around it for a while and our, our longtime fans, it was hard to comprehend. It's like, as, as I've told people, we went undefeated at the bean pot, uh, but unfortunately didn't, didn't hoist the trophy at the end. Uh, that was <laughs> yeah. the first, because of the new rule, our game was the first tie ever in Bean Pot history, official tie. Uh, really? Then did it all again the next week. So a bit wow. crazy. Um, I, I can see where the, where the rule was changed, but for the tradition of the Bean Pot, it certainly was uh, a little bit crazy to get used to. For sure. Uh, hi. What have some of the team meetings been like uh, right now? I'm sure a lot of people are, whether it's from class, uh, your classes on Zoom, your team meetings on Zoom, it, it changes c certainly how uh, how your day goes. But uh, what what have some of those been like? Yeah, it's been kind of a change of dynamic. I think that was a little bit of an adjustment with my classes to start. Um, it's been uh, it's been good. I mean, like I said, it's a little bit different not being in person and seeing everybody, and even with my class and not seeing my classmates, not seeing my professors. Um, but I think overall they've done a great job, the school, our team, on making sure everyone's adjusted properly with the correct IT support and where we need it. Um, but I think with the, the team meetings and stuff, I think we haven't lost the, <laughs> lost any, any step uh, not seeing each other. I think the guys are um, starting to itch to get back to school, but I think we're keeping that chemistry going throughout the off season, uh, make sure everyone's safe and healthy and, and, Stay on top of things, making sure we come in next year ready to go. Yeah. Well, as we enter May, hopefully we get some uh, warmer weather, even though we're not uh, – a return to normal might be a ways away. Uh, hopefully yeah. people can get out there and uh, in, enjoy some – even up here in the Northeast. Uh, you never know. But the, the uh, crazy thing was the warmest day we've had in Boston all year was on January 12th. Yeah, <laughs> you never know what, you, what you're going to get. So at least you were here for that day. Uh, yeah, exactly. But uh, thanks for taking the time to uh, join us here. And uh, all the best to uh, you and your family. No, I appreciate it. And a little quick note to Terry Nation. Can't wait to get back in front of you guys and plan out a Gannis. And uh, stay safe, everybody. Stay inside, wash your hands. Um, but can't wait to get back on campus and, and plan for BU. Great. Thanks so much, Case. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. We'll see you.